All right, quick rundown of my Sable 2015 uh, CNC machine that I bought here three and a half years ago and just got started using it. Uh, PC that runs it, dedicated PC, uh, just an old AMD machine. Uh, one gig of RAM, 60 gig hard drive, nothing spectacular, old monitor, but it's, it's got a parallel port which you need to drive the stepper motor controller. Cabinet I built for this thing. Anyways, I'll get back to that later. Got the stepper motor controller board, power supply, and custom, if you will, custom uh, switch panel that ties into the individual uh, control signals here so you can drive this manually without the PC if you ever had to need to do that. Also down here I got a uh, extra cooling fan mounted up there so when I'm not running the vacuum that'll just suck out the hot air from the spindle motor. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, I got a got a vacuum port over here, another vacuum port over there. The machine itself is your standard Sable 20 standard <laughs> Sable 2015. I bought off of eBay. I, uh, some guy from China. I don't remember what his name was, but uh, it's all basically stock. I got a little blower blower tube here. I ain't got hooked up yet because I can't find a fan powerful enough to shoot enough air in there and make a difference. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and tear apart a drill, like an old power drill or something like that, and, and just make a shroud for the fan and push air through that. Vacuum table. I built this this morning. It took about 12 hours because most of it was spent thinking about it, how to do it, whatnot. I drilled, I got a really long eighth inch drill bit, and I drilled eight lines this way and five lines this way. Covered up all these holes. I accidentally punched through here a couple of times, so I covered up these, covered up these, and left one open. Punched down through all these using the machine. You know, uh, well, this year's this year is set up to uh, fit all the circuit boards we bought. I uh, bought like 200 of these, two and three quarter by eight inch uh, single sided PCBs to use you know, for dirt cheap off eBay. So I basically made this to custom fit that. But the thing is locked down. I've milled it flat. All the holes are drilled through. I got little grooves cut down about an eighth of an inch to kind of interconnect all the holes, interconnect all the air channels, whatnot. I accidentally punched through right there, as you can maybe barely see. Okay. Uh, and this one fitting right here, just a, uh, it's a, what the hell is it? It's an eighth inch, eighth inch MIP to quarter inch barb fitting, I believe. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Maybe five six five sixteenths to eighth inch MIP. That's what it is. Yeah, but uh, all these holes are interconnected underneath by all these these holes that I drilled this way. So you know, I, I suck here, I get air underneath all of them. But anyways, so I got this barb fitting going through this clear tubing, going to this other barb fitting, going to this adapter, going to this coupling, going to this bushing slash adapter with threads on the inside and the outside going to this other bushing going to this bushing that's inside here let me see if I can take this apart without dropping the camera I've only got 10 minutes on this thing so got to be kind of quick there we go okay bushing goes into this bushing hopefully you can see that which goes into there which screws into this, which screws into this, which, hopefully I didn't push any buttons there, I think I might have, this goes into here, here, yeah, right there, and it fits nice and snug once the shop back is running, let me slip this back all together real quick, so I'm going to make some noise here in a minute, I'm going to fire up the shop back, and put a circuit board on that vacuum board, and show you just how much of a pain it is to try to pull it off. Here's one of the circuit boards, two and three quarters by eight inch. Now it doesn't work so good this way because the fiberglass has got all them little micro, well I don't know even know if they're micro ridges, but they let just enough air sneak through. I'm going to fix that up with some plastic, but I lay that down there just like that. You watch, I'm not going to touch it after I lay it down. In fact, I'll keep the camera on it. But I'm just going to reach over here and turn on the shop back for a second. Lots of noise. And I, I cannot get the damn thing off unless I slide it out of there. 
fact, it's hard to even push around. But you see, I can't, I can't get it up off. In fact, if I turn the shot back off there, now I got it off. I couldn't get that thing off there. I tried prying on it, but you end up chewing this up. Anyways, yeah, this is milled flat also. The cabinet itself is two layers of OSB. There's a layer of OSB right here, but it's not all the way through. It's just like little strips, like little strips like this all the way around it. And inside that is uh, R13 moose fill insulation packed in there, and it's all stapled shut. The inside of it's lined with carpet. It's, laying, it's sitting on this rug. I'm going to get some rubber feet for the whole cabinet to sit on. This thing, the Sable 2015 itself, actually fits in a little notch here so it can't move backwards any farther. But if I need to, I can lift it up and pull it out and move it around for cleaning and whatnot. Uh, that fan kind of sucks up right through there. So like I said, it sucks up the hot air through there when, uh, when the uh, spindle's running but not generating a lot of dust. So I don't need to run the big old shop back. Same thing goes for this side, uh, three layers thick. T everything around here, the bottom, the tops, the back of the top, the little inset back down in here, it's all three layers thick. And if I can, I'm going to take this and put it in here just to kind of get it out of the way so I can shut the cabinet door. But, okay, I'm going to turn on the spindle motor and then I'm going to shut the door. You know, that's, that's pretty damn loud. So, here we go. Cabinet door shut. And, watch the glass window. Watch the glass window, which is actually goes right down the middle there, so I can see the bit on edge. Um, but you can sit here and talk to your buddy. You know, he's standing right next to you. You can sit here and talk to him, no problem. And just comparison sake again. Oh yeah, over center spring. Check that out. I don't, I don't know where I got the spring. Don't care. I know it works. Holds her open. Holds her shut. Slick. But uh, yeah, so this is the hard table back here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the one. That's this is the table that came with the machine. I got this piece of, uh, I don't know what the hell they call this, shelving or, or table, laminate, uh, melamine, something like that, but that's bolted down flat to this. It's milled flat, and then this bolted down to that, or screwed down to that, and again, this area in here where the PCB is going to sit is also milled flat. Uh, that's eight minutes. What else we got going here? Uh, quick look around the shop, man. Eh? The shop is relatively new, and it's a complete disaster right now because I've been working all, all weekend. And, uh, well, you know, what are you going to do? Hey, i got to turn that light on. And this light on. And this light on. So, I might have enough outlets here, I don't know. We bought one every three or four feet here. One over there, a couple back in there. Got the fridge. Got the heaters. Actually, I got the heater right there and the air conditioner. Not that you need that much here in North Dakota, but uh, table saw buried back in there. Got the, the super mad, the bitch and DeWalt cross cut double bevel coffee making monkey wrench and miter saw there. This thing rolls around. Just four little kitchen cabinets on wheels. So handy as hell. Uh, toys, airplanes, radio control, we got 45 seconds left. What else do I got here? Parts bench, oh scope, parts, parts, more parts. Uh, God, I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, oh yeah, back to this thing, this table. 31 bucks in parts from Menards, and I got all the SKUs and everything like that, everything I use, and I even have parts left over because I thought I was going to use them and didn't use them. Jeez, um, I don't know what else. Uh, yeah, shop is warm in the winter, and it's going to be cool in the summertime, and that's it. Bye.